Hello folks, today I am with a brand new question here. This is the 2019, 19 May, June, paper 1, 1, uh, physics of course. Uh, this is the freshest question that we have. And the uh, uh, question is, uh, this question is a question number 7 here. I forgot to write the number, but uh, I can remember it. So it says that it's about a projectile. It says a stone is thrown horizontally from the top of a cliff. So it means that uh, uh, this is the top of the cliff and we are throwing uh, the, a stone like this, somewhat like this and it falls into the sea sometime later, falls like this, like this and air resistance is negligible. That means the only force on the body is the force of gravity. Of gravity. So we have to find which graph shows how the vertical component VV of velocity. So when it reaches here, let us say when it reaches here, the vertical component of velocity is this and this is the horizontal component. So which gives the resultant like this. So this is the resultant, this is the horizontal VH, this is V vertical and this is the velocity at that moment. The magnitudes of the velocities will be such that this uh, figure will be a rectangle. This figure will be a rectangle. So we have to find which graph shows how the vertical component VV of the velocity of this stone varies with its horizontal component. So we have a comparison of uh, this velocity with this velocity. So this time the graph is different. So that's why I think uh, many of our students, they must have faltered in this question because uh, they have the habit of uh, doing the graph uh, of anything, anything uh, with respect to time. So our kinematics graphs are mainly concerned with time. So when they find a velocity against velocity, many of them would have been confused. But uh, uh, it's not like that because uh, under uh, simple thinking, uh, if we think, uh, think uh, uh, with uh, just few seconds, uh, we can realize the, uh, the, the simpl simplicity of this question. So it uh, tells us to find the variation of vertical velocity along with the horizontal velocity that much. So vertical velocity along with horizontal that much. Now what we have to remember is in this type of projectile we have the vertical velocity changes. The vertical velocity changes and it changes uniformly. It changes uniformly. It means that uh, uh, it changes uniformly, uniformly. It's because we have the vertical acceleration is equal to z, is equal to z. And uh, when uh, uh, there is z, z means that the change is uniform. So g is the rate of change of velocity which is 9.81. So v vertical changes, v vertical changes. So that means if I look at these graphs, choice number c disqualifies because it says that the vertical velocity is constant. So this thing disqualifies from the very beginning. Then what about a v horizontal? So this v horizontal remains constant. It remains constant. It's because in a projectile, the only force is the only force is the force of gravity force of gravity and the force of gravity is it will act it will be acting vertically so if it acts vertically then there is no component in the horizontal direction if the force is vertical it will have no components in the horizontal direction because the angle is 90 so any force any vector will have no component at an angle of 90 degrees so that's why it has no component so that means the acceleration in the horizontal direction should be equal to 0 and v in the this direction should be equal to constant. So horizontal velocity should be constant. Horizontal velocity should be constant. So that means let us search here. So here the horizontal changes. It is changing. So disqualifies. Here horizontal changes disqualifies. The only thing that qualifies is this because in this condition we have the horizontal velocity remains constant. It constant but the vertical changes. Vertical goes on changing but horizontal is constant, constant, constant any time. So that means the correct choice is this choice. So it means the horizontal velocity changes, sorry it remains constant but the vertical changes it goes on changing whether up change or uh, uh, positive change or negative change increase degrees no concern. The only thing is that the horizontal velocity remains constant so choice number D should be the correct choice.